Hello and welcome back to Mikey's Flight Deck. Today with another episode of my Solidus CNC series. You have seen the construction of all the axes, now let's put everything together. To hold the x-axis in place, the two sides of the portal were built. There is an opening for the motor and its cable in the left side. This part of the plate has to be exactly the outside dimensions of the x-axis and to ensure this you can take the x-axis as a template and place it here so that it is flush with the outsides and then you can arrange all the surrounding parts to it. Adding a little bit of glue to every part helps to keep them in place while you drill the pilot holes. The power strip is covered in a separate box. Only glue the side parts so you can open the box later. The electronic components are gathered in a separate terminal box. I applied two coats of varnish to all the parts. 
The power cord should be routed behind the x-axis here to the other side of the machine. But I can't do this anymore because I have glued this small pieces here in place. You will leave them unglued to be able to screw them in or out later. And also I don't understand why I should waste so much cable to get it to the other side of the machine when I could let come this out here also. So what I will do is I will cut the cable inside um, this plug here and put it through a hole here and let it come out at the left side of the machine. To provide power for this power supply here, I will cut the cable of this uh, extension here and use this to connect then later with the power supply. To avoid voltage peaks, the output of the power supply should be 10% lower than the maximum of the controller cards. In my case, this is 45 volts. I won't glue the inner panels of these two side parts here to be able to remove them later if this will be necessary. In the one side there is already the cable of this multi power supply here and I will invert the cable of the power supply. And in the other side there I will insert a USB extension cable that will be connected with the Eslicam interface. The moment when you connect the x-axis to the both side parts is the moment when you should make sure that the axis is aligned horizontal to the ground. And I recommend you to do this on a flat surface. I use my table saw for this and I will measure the distances of the underside of the x-axis to the surface of the table saw at these two positions here and make sure these are equal. In the original plans the stepper motors are driven by one single controller card, but I will change this a little bit. I will send the signals with this Eslicam interface here and the stepper motors will be driven by these single stepper motor controller cards here. And to get these three into this box here, I had to erase all the walls so that I will still be able to close this box with this panel here. This is how I arranged the components in the terminal box. I had to remove the interface card later for an easier connection of the cables.
plug of the CNC router cable comes out too long here so I couldn't close this power supply case anymore and so I will have to cut it away and replace it with a lower build plug here. Now you can mount the Z-axis. Take your time to ensure a correct orientation. The spindle holder should be parallel to the bottom of the B-axis. I had some of these fly protections laying around, which we never installed in our house and they come in those stripes here and I took them out and thought maybe this uh, should fit perfectly and now look at this it's definitely made for this machine And here it is, the long-awaited moment, everything is assembled. Stay tuned for one last video of the series where I try out this machine for the first time. I will have to do some homework for the software that will control the CNC. And I will come to details of the electronic work I've done inside this machine if this didn't came out clear in this video. So to stay informed about the release of the new video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I hope we'll see us soon back on the Flytech.